Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time each week, we try to talk about something that we as farmers may be pretty familiar with, but if you're a non-farmer, you might not know what we're discussing here on the show. So today we wanted to talk about something that you'll see in many different grasses and grass crops. It's called tillering. Well, if you've ever seen a grass plant that's kind of off all by itself, you'll notice it gets kind of bushy. This is what we're talking about here. Tillering is where it's going to put out additional stems from the base. So in soybeans, you'll say, oh, well, soybeans get bushy too. Yeah, but it's all different. They've got one main stalk coming up and they'll put branches out. These aren't branches. These are new stems coming out from that base. So a lot of times in corn, I'll be out walking in a field and I'll see tillers off the main corn plant. And some farmers that I visit with say, oh, that's terrible, I don't want tillers. I don't like this variety because it has tillers. Look, tillers can be good or they can be bad. I'm not that worried about it. I'm always looking for what's the best overall yielding variety. I don't care if it puts on a lot of tillers or it doesn't. Tillering can be a good or bad thing. Here's, here's one of the good things with tillering. If plants see that there's extra sunlight that they could get, they will tiller. And all of a sudden now you've got another stalk that can catch the sun or another stalk that can catch the sun. And with wheat plants, for example, I've seen as many as 30 tillers on a single plant. So they really try to take advantage of whatever they can capture for sunlight energy so they can do more photosynthesis and ultimately make more grain. And the thing is, if you've got all these tillers out there, that plant, it will rob nutrients out of those tillers to put into the main stalk, the main grain that that plant is producing. So usually tillering is a good thing. Well, tillering could potentially be a bad thing too if it's taking a lot of energy away from the main stalk. And you know, you think about it, growing those extra tillers, it takes energy to do that. And if it's just at the wrong time, like let's just say that your plant is still tillering later in the season, as your crop is already starting to determine yield, that could be a problem for you. The other side of this is if it keeps putting on tillers late, you're gonna have an uneven maturity in a crop like wheat. You may have one head that's already blooming and another head that's not even close. Well, for farmers, that blooming time plants are really susceptible to certain diseases. So if a farmer protects that main head and you've got another head that's a long ways away, well, it's gonna be susceptible to those diseases maybe in a week or two, and the fungicide that a farmer may have applied is already worn off. So farmers really like it. If a plant's going to tiller, get it over with, do it early, show us what we've got to work with and then we can manage that plant. Yep, but again, when it comes to picking varieties based on does it tiller or not, we usually don't find that that makes a lot of difference. So this isn't a real big thing, but we just wanted to explain what you're seeing out in fields. If, oh hey, normally I would have a corn plant that looks like it's all by itself, but all of a sudden I got this almost bushy looking thing around it, that's just tillering and it just shoots off that main stem. Well, there's a lot to understand with agriculture. And if you look out in a field and you see a weed sticking its head out above the top of the crop, that is not a good thing. I can't think of when that's ever a good thing. And with our Weed of the Week, it could be extremely difficult to control. So we'll talk about it coming up later in the show. <music> 